My name is Alexander Gregory Carter. It's June 17th, 2015. Um, uh, Shira, our extraterrestrial liaison and mentor, um, wants us to make these video journals of our lives in case uh, anything should ever happen to us. And, um, I, I, I gotta say, it's, it's not the worst idea she's ever had. <laughs> um, I, I do want my grandfather to know that I died for, a, a good cause. Um, even after, uh, uh everything he told me yesterday. Um, uh, yesterday I found out that that I was responsible for the death of both of my parents and uh, I mean I'm 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 still trying to uh, to tell myself that it, it's it's not my fault but it's, it's just the most fucked up news I've ever heard. Uh, I mean, why would you even tell your, your, your grandkid that? I mean, I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do with that kind of info? I mean, other than f feel guilty. I never knew my mom. All I have are, um, are old stories of how amazing and beautiful she was. Apparently, she died giving birth to me. She, she was on a date with my dad and um, out of nowhere this, this this bright light appeared and induced premature birth and she didn't survive the ordeal. Now that same bright light appeared <coughs> according to my grandfather, um, in our house that burned down. And, and this time, and that same bright light appeared, according to my father, um, in our house that burned down. But this time coming from me. I burned down that house somehow. Uh, when I was just a baby, I had, I had no control over it. And he saved me from that house. Even though I was a, a freak. That brought nothing but death. My parents loved me enough to give up their lives to save mine. That love wasn't reciprocated with the rest of my family, though. My aunts, uncles, cousins, um, they all disowned me. They kept their distance. All I have left is my grandfather. But it's, it's better off this way. He is uh, the reason why I'm fighting this war. To make him and my parents proud. Actually, that's a lie. Um, uh, this war that I'm fighting, that I probably won't even survive, uh, has, has brought me something 
worth dying for. Her. Cassie. I've never seen a more beautiful girl in my life. She's the most perfect person I've ever met. She's smart, um, funny, and tough as nails. And I, I want to tell her how I feel. But this team looks up to me as their leader. I, I can't afford to lose focus. I'm responsible for all of their lives. And I won't let them down. I will not let Shira down. And I sure as hell won't let my grandfather down. <laughs>